Okay, I'm back down in the shop. You can see that we're working on this piece of a bar top, doing this big miter joint. We're gonna make a cool video about that today. Um, you know, I'm back working with this jointer, okay? Uh, I haven't made any modifications to it, but I am going to actually get a new uh, 220 uh, magnetic switch, and I'll tell you about that when I get it, and maybe one or two other modifications to improve some safety. Uh, but basically, I got to be back to using this machine, which actually, as weird as it sounds, I still love this machine. A lot of people have asked me if I'm scared to death of this tool now, and I, I'm not really scared of this tool. I, I definitely realize, I realize what kind of danger this machine can present. Uh, not only this machine, but all of the machines in here. Uh, even a simple chisel. A very sharp chisel can be a very dangerous tool. I have a good friend that severed some nerves in his palm in the middle of his hand and lost feeling in two of his fingers just by slipping and cutting himself with a chisel, okay? So it's not just big power tools that are dangerous, really. Uh, any sharp edge tool uh, that you use could potentially harm you, you know? I mean, the dangers are all around, so you just have to be really focused on what you're doing and, and try to make the best effort to be safe in all situations. But anyway, I'm back to using the joiner. Uh, again, I'm not uh, terribly terrified of this machine. Um, you know, I feel like during the operation of the machine, I've always felt safe. I always feel like I have respect for the machine, which my level of respect for the machine has definitely increased lately, and that's a good thing. And I recommend that you increase your level of respect for your machines as well and use them as safely as possible. Okay, that's enough of that. I gotta get out to the job. We gotta glue this bar top together. We gotta finish this kitchen. We got butcher block countertops. We gotta do some tile backsplashes and a couple of floating shelves. And we gotta get this thing done and say sayonara. We got another job to start. So let's get out of here.